I broke a bit off. I am dreading this taste test. I do not like, well, I say I don't like sugar in my pancakes. Pancakes or waffles, a question that has divided humanity for decades and will continue to do so for the foreseeable future. However, uh, today, Team Pancake uh, took, a, took a loss. Now, whether you like pancakes or waffles more does not matter today because today is a day of remembrance. A day of remembrance for a poor pancake across the pond over in Britain. Swedish oven pancake, one of Kay's cooking's most recent videos. Now, some of you might be asking yourself, uh, what is a Swedish oven pancake? And well, I'm glad you asked. I've actually had quite a few of these when I was in college. There was a bakery near my apartment that made these, and they were absolutely delicious. They're kind of just like a fluffy pancake. As the name implies, they're not made in a pan, they're made in the oven. It's kind of like if French toast and a pancake were mixed together. They're amazing, and if you haven't tried one, I'd say go find one today. And today we're gonna watch Kay try and make one. Now, for the most part, Kay doesn't, like, necessarily kill the recipe. It's okay. It kind of looks like a pancake once it's all said and done, and I might eat it. But I would would only eat it if I didn't see the process of making it because there's a certain blunder, you know, a little oopsie whoopsie that Kay makes during this video that uh, makes me not, not really want to try it. It's quite the blunder and I'm not going to spoil what happens. I'm not going to put it in the beginning of the video. I know I'm bad about that saying I'm not going to spoil something and then it's the first thing you guys see when you click on the video. Not going to do that this time. Don't worry. But that's enough talk about the mistake. Let's just get you seeing it. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hi people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm going to be making Swedish oven omelette. So close, Kay. Uh, it's actually pronounced pancake. I would make a joke about this video making more sense if she thought she was making an omelette, but uh, no, it, it really wouldn't. First, it says to put the bacon, oh, because there's bacon in it, in the microwave for two minutes. And then it says cut the bacon up into a bowl and you can't see the bacon can you right you still can't see the bacon but you can see the bacon going in now i'm cutting it up it says to leave the grease on it i don't like the idea of grease being on bacon but Argue. All right, so using this information, I found the exact recipe that I think Kay is using, which is really going to make this video a lot more funny, I think, here in a minute. But um, one question I've got for any people over in Britain, um, and once again, let me preface this by saying this is a genuine question. I think a lot of people take me asking these questions as me being like sarcastic and snarky, like, no, I I'm really just asking, why is y'all's bacon so floppy? Like, this looks like turkey, like turkey lunch meat or something. It's not just Kay. I see this all the time on like English breakfast and stuff. Why is it like this? Right, now that's all cut up. And then it says to... Uh, I forgot to get hold on my glasses here. Bacon, small pieces in a bowl, which I've, I've done. Then blend the bacon and the grease and the eggs and the milk and flour and sugar. All right, so there's the word of the hour, blend. The recipe calls for you to blend all of the ingredients together. When you hear this word, what comes to mind? Probably like putting it all in a bowl and then mixing it together, right? Well, if so, congratulations. That's what the recipe is trying to tell you. Uh, that's not exactly how, uh, how Kay read it. Yeah, really, all together. So I need to put all that into blender. I don't know my blender's big enough. Look, look my poor little blender. I don't know if it's going to take it all. Yeah, so I'm sure you've figured out by now what's about to happen. Kay is about to blend all of this bacon into a liquid. Now, this is the recipe Kay is using. I'm almost 100% certain because it uses the exact words that she's using. So it says chop the bacon into small pieces, then period. In a bowl, blend bacon, grease, eggs, milk, flour, you get the idea. So I think Kay read this as chop the bacon into small pieces in a bowl and then blend it all together. It's a mistake that's going to have some pretty dire consequences. Can I get the lid off? one hand. No, you can't, Kay. Don't be silly. Ah, that's it. All right, so as we said, the, um, the bacon, 
Oh, I ain't got an ear for bacon. So like logically, my brain is telling me that this really shouldn't taste much different. Like it's all gonna get made into a pancake, so it's gonna solidify back, and like it's just probably gonna taste like bacon in the background. But I don't know, even acknowledging that, something in my brain tells me, hey, don't eat the liquid bacon. It's not a good idea. I mean, look at all that grease. Surely you can't put all that in a dish, a blender. But, yucky, 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 yucky. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm gonna have to agree. Something about that sound makes me want to gag. I don't know why, because it's no different than, like, the sound a faucet makes when it's pouring out water. But similar to the garbage stew that Jack made being poured into a different container, it's just, it's not a good sound. It's like my brain knows that sound is bacon grease being poured on top of bacon in preparation to be blended. Because logic tells me that sound should not be gross. Anybody have an explanation? Surely this is going to be blending. I'm going to blend it bit by bit because uh, this is all going to be congealed. You won't be able to hear me, but I'm blending it. Now I'm going to add the, there's some uh, a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt in there. This looks like some sort of sick crime scene where a person blended their victims. There's chunks of meat all over this blender. This is, this is unpleasant to watch. I mean, Kay was even confused by the recipe calling for her to blend the bacon. Why were there no red flags saying, hey, maybe, maybe you should reread it? It's a mystery to me. Now it's all done. As you can see, it's made a bit of a mess of itself. I mean, look at the lid. Oh dear, never mind. But now it's all gone quiet. Get in there. And take the lid off. Oh, drop the lid, her back on it. Never mind. Pick it off again, that's it. I like how Kay is treating this blended concoction as a living entity. And I've gotta say, I don't really blame her. I would probably be doing the same thing. I would not want this bacon egg sugar mixture anywhere on my skin. I would not want to see how it reacts to it. I mean, this is a certified goo. It might even be biohazardous, so uh, can't be too safe. I just said pour in a dip. Oh, I'm gonna say I thought we weren't pouring then. Uh. Right. Look. Do it on a baking tray because it ain't going to rise much. I don't think it's going to rise much. Let it finish dripping. Move it around a bit to give it more. Let's get more. That's that side. Now this side, there's going to be nothing on that bloody side. There is nothing on that side. Okay, there's hardly any sides here. This is essentially a two-dimensional object. It's not gonna rise. There's nothing to rise. I can see the pan through the liquid. I think there's definitely, definitely gonna be a difference between using this in a casserole dish. I mean, this is what the recipe is supposed to look like. This is the picture on the recipe page. Surely human instinct has got to tell you this is not the right dish for the job. Now that has come out of the oven. It looks all right, yes. I would say it's more of a Yorkshire pudding than what is a... Swedish pancake but uh, yes so I'm dreading to taste it because I don't like the idea of pan uh, sugar in pancakes but uh, well we just got to try it but that's the end product of a Swedish oven pancake all right, there's quite a bit to unpack here. First off, this turned out much better than I was expecting it to, not gonna lie. This actually looks somewhat edible. Secondly, um, once again, just gotta ask, what's going on in Britain? Uh, you don't like the idea of sugar? in pancakes? How does that work? Is it really even a pancake if it's not sweet? Wait, does that mean she's about to eat this pancake with nothing on it? Like at all? Surely not. Now I broke a bit, well, you can't see it. I broke a bit off. I am dreading this taste test. I do not like, well, I say I don't like sugar in my pancakes. It's not really something, I, I think pancre pancakes, pancakes are a savory thing not a sweet thing but well okay uh you've literally got more bacon than any other ingredient in your pancake mix so uh, i uh, i wouldn't worry too much about it being more sweet than savory here goes i'm not gonna bother with knives and forks i'm just gonna pick it up i 
apart from tasting a bit greasy, but I did have to put the bacon fat in. But apart from tasting a bit greasy, I can't see it being a problem. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't, I don't even really know what I'm supposed to get from that taste test, Kay. Not gonna lie. You don't think it's gonna be a problem? That's like a, like a nothing statement in regards to food. Is that British slang for like that'll do? Like it's good, or it's just not so bad you can't eat it? Anybody want to chime in? Well, guys, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this pancake? Like I said, I'm sure it probably tastes okay because at the end of the day, blending the bacon's not gonna really do a whole lot to it. But I don't know. Something about just knowing that there's a liquid bacon and what I'm eating would make me would make me not want to eat it. Is that a me problem? Maybe, but uh, it's a problem I'm okay having. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.